Hey, thanks so much for stopping in. Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen's, and I wanna show you a couple of ways to flavor up ribs that are a little bit different from the norm, but the flavors are incredible. Now, when most folks think of ribs, they think of smoky, barbecue sauce, sweet, spicy, all those things, but there are so many other ways you can flavor them up that are different and absolutely delicious. What I'm gonna do is give it a little twist with two different sauces and some different spice rubs. First, of course, we're gonna start off with Heinen's own We Care Certified Pork Baby Back Ribs. I love these, they're meatier than a St. Louis style, they cook perfectly, the fat renders nicely, and the flavor is always so good. So what we wanna do first, if there is a membrane on the back, we wanna remove it. A lot of times it's not even on there, so we're good to move forward. I'm gonna coat these on both sides with a little bit of avocado oil. This is going to help my spices stick to it as it cooks. Now for the spice blend, I'm gonna change it up with coriander, a little bit of garlic, next some ginger, onion, salt, and pepper. I've got some nice Thai Asian flavors in there. It's a little bit different than the norm, but it's gonna be awesome. Now, there are definitely different ways that you can cook this, and I've prepared them a few different ways. You could check out those videos, whether it's smoked, slow, grilled in the oven, whatever it is. For me, I do like them braised in the oven a little bit. So I'm gonna add them right to a pan, add in just a bit of beef stock, covering with foil, going in the oven on 350 degrees. It's gonna cook for two hours, that is it. When it's done, you can actually eat these as is, but what I'm gonna do is mark them really quick on a very hot grill on both sides, just to give it that little charred up flavor. Now you can absolutely eat these as is, so delicious, but let's take it a step further. I'm gonna show you two different sauces. The first one, Two Brothers Teriyaki Sauce. Now, I love this sauce. I've used it so many different ways, so many different times, whether it be a marinade, a salad dressing, or a sauce to finish, and that's what we're gonna do right here. Generously glaze up those ribs and then brush them just to coat them evenly. Now for the other one, a Thai peanut sauce from Two Brothers. This one is so good. Whether you're dipping some chicken satay in there or even using it as a salad dressing, I love this one. Same concept, just add a good amount to the ribs and then brush it on using a little brush. And then for some optional garnishes, what I like to do is hit the teriyaki flavored one with some chopped cilantro. Then I'm gonna do sliced green onions on both actually. So the teriyaki and the peanut sauce. Then I'm gonna finish the peanut sauce with a little bit more chopped peanuts because why not a little more crunch? And I'm telling you right now, you can absolutely do both of these and it's such a nice change. If you want to wow and impress some guests, not give them the same old stuff, this is what you make. The flavors you will love, that is my promise to you. Got a lot of ribs to eat, see you soon.